Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, September, good gosh, I was going to say October there, September, um, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, to see what they're thinking and feeling for yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. In the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. Okay, so just go. I'm going to take these in, possibly clarify uh, some. So uh, Aquarius, let's start your reading. Um, okay, all right. So your person, your person's kind of uh, uh, there's this thing around them needing to grow up, uh, them needing to. There's a bit of immaturity around them. I say a bit. That might be an understatement. Them showing up as night of blaze, and with this immature, it's just like an immature way of thinking, which you've had to deal with or and, and currently dealing with. I feel like. You've pushed this person in the past to, uh, when I say push them, mean it, meaning, you know, kind of got on them about certain behaviours, certain things that they were doing, maybe certain things that they said or how they say things. And now it just seems like you're just kind of tired, although you are standing your ground when it comes to what you feel is right, whatever that is. I feel like it's more about their behaviour or just how they think um, although there is this standing for what you feel is right, you are kind of choosing to ignore um, certain elements or ignore um, certain irritants. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the things that they say. Maybe it's the certain little things that they do in their excitement. And, and that's just due to them having this immature way of thinking. Them not being able to just balance their thoughts. So it's like, okay, I'm going to choose to ignore certain things because I'm going to have patience with you about this growth or this period where you kind of need to grow and evolve out of this. But at the same time, I'm going to make sure that I kind of got my little barriers up a little bit with you so that you can't relax totally with this person. You can't. And with that, I guess you can't feel safe totally with this person. Aquarius. Yeah, safe. This person has some growing up to do. They've been defensive in the past um, about their, like I said, I feel like you've approached them. There's been some form of conversation, communication around this behavior or this way of thinking or something that they do. Um, yeah, and they've kind of been defensive off the back of that or their response to that was very just kind of defensive. And it's interesting because wrong and strong, I'm hearing, especially with the, the strength card jumping out, if you guys have heard that saying wrong and strong someone who's standing wrong and strong um, and it's not to say that they're not wanting this deep connection with you you know they're wanting to come into alignment where all is well I just feel like this person might have not had many experiences when it comes to relationships or they're just maybe a bit younger than you maybe their uh, outlook on life is uh, maybe they're the same age but they're just mentally a bit younger than you definitely mentally a bit younger than you when it comes to experiencing this situation. So there might not be an age. Let me just see what's going on here. Yeah, there is a sense of victory. We've got the six of, of uh, wands on top of that nine. So there is this victory. that Their excitement is coming from something that, and we've got that 10 there, something that, they, that that's ended. Uh, maybe something that they were struggling with, something that they were dealing with. That's kind of ended a challenge, an obstacle for them. Um, and they're kind of basking in that victory. And we've got the high priestess again, guys. It has nothing to do with them, the, the connection that you guys have. It's more about this person growing up mentally. Growing up mentally. Yeah, highly drawn towards you, though. Um, I feel like a lot of them keep that 
to their self and if they don't it's the extent of how much they're drawn to you that which they keep to themselves we've got the four of pentacles which talks about kind of holding things in yeah yeah i don't feel like they've expressed to you the extent of how much they appreciate like enjoy drawn a pull towards you um yeah you you're kind of i you you're you're choosing to take the uh, what was that road the path of least resistance the path the slow the slow path but uh, sure slow and sure is that type of thing with the the full card then we've got the ace uh, sorry the page of cups there which talks about an offering a giving but small 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 um yeah this is you, you you've chosen to and i don't blame you i feel like that's a a good thing i feel like that's a uh uh the best way to handle it when it comes to this person i feel like you just kind of need to give this person some space I feel like maybe they grow out of this little period it's just the excitement for them really and that's what it's boiling down to is their excitement when it comes to this person when it comes to you i mean and also i feel like there's been some form of challenge because we do have that 10. so it's adding to their mentality when it comes to to this a challenge that they've had to overcome a challenge that they've had to um yeah deal with maybe for a while as well yeah you ignoring ignoring certain things okay all right i'm loving the fact that we've got that magician there <laughs> um because i was thinking with a 10 the 10 talks about burdens things being heavy for you so ignoring certain things when it comes to this person is a bit of a burden but we do have that magician card which talks about and in your feeling position as well which talks about you know you just kind of um having all the tools the beliefs um in order for you to feel like something is going to work out something's going to turn around something's going to happen we do have that nine um, so there is this element of worry, but yeah, slowly but surely, look at that, Knight of Cups again, so slowly but surely, it's like this slowly but surely, I'm going to be patient with you, I'm going to be patient with you, um, I know this may be new for you, you might be entering into certain spaces emotionally and mentally when it comes to relationships, so I'm going to be patient with you, but uh, cross watcher. Uh, uh, your your Aquarius is not going to be patient for so long, uh, forever. So get it together, okay? Bring the your energy down a bit. Balance. There we go. Get that balance. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. I will say though that this person is definitely wanting to align with you. It's nothing to do with um, your their feelings or emotions for you. In fact, it's because of their feelings and emotions for you, which is why they're acting like this. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles next week, guys. So look out for that. And the extendeds as well. I'm just going to make some tweaks to that. So just bear with me. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.